Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to uh, set up and use the Dark Comet Rat 5.3.1. This is the one I currently have, and let me just uh, delete myself or uninstall myself. Okay. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is download the file in the description for the Dark Comet. And you should get a f and extract it. You should get a folder like this Dark Comet 5.3.1. You're going to open the. Uh, don't leave, don't uh, delete anything or move anything. Like, don't just move this file to the desktop. Leave it in the folders or it's not gonna work. So, you're gonna wanna open this, and I already have one. So, I'm just gonna click it on and I already have it. Okay. You should get something like this. Not this, but it should be like blank over here. Okay, but what you're gonna do. I had a port to listen the uh, the automatic one the 1604 click listen okay now once you do that you're gonna you have to port forward with this port or it's not gonna work so you're gonna go to your default gateway which you can find out by going to command prompt and typing in IP config once you do that wherever you're connected to, I'm in local area connection to it should say default gateway so it, mine is 192.168.1.254 yours should be the same three numbers except not three numbers but like the first seven numbers and uh... <coughs> except you might have like point one or something AT and T's is dot two five four and it's different for everyone so you're gonna type it in into the URL bar click enter if you come to this page you're gonna go to customize firewall or wherever, something about firewall wherever you have <coughs> and you should get something in applications so what you're gonna wanna do is click allow individual applications first select that and then click add a new user defined application the application profile name should be like Dark Comet or something. And the port range from 1604 to 1604. You can do both if you want, but uh, it has to be TCP at least. The protocol timeout TCP is uh, 86,400, so I'm going to do that. And I'm just going to leave these two blank and click add to list. Once you add them, you're gonna go back and then just scroll down for the Dark Comet application in the application list. Select it and then click Add, and then it should be in your hosted applications now. Or it might ask you for like a password or something, just enter that in. Now we're all set with the port part. Now <coughs> you can just make the server now. And click Full Editor and uh, the server ID or you should click random like about 10 times or something okay the server ID you can make it whatever you want really I'm gonna just make it in in infected and then I'm just gonna name it correct settings you wanna click f fi active firewall bypass network settings now this is the other part okay yours should be like 127 dot O dot O dot one. So what you're gonna do is delete that. Oh my god. Delete that and you're gonna go to a website called noip.com. You're gonna sign up and then you're gonna wanna go to manage. Oh, it should come up to this oh, come on every time I have to sign in. So once you do that, you should be at this page. You should see your IP right up here. I'm gonna blur this out so you guys, cause you guys can't see this. So you're gonna click on Manage Hosts. Okay. Now once you do that, oh, you should have nothing here. You should say No Hosts. Click Add a Host, and then you're just gonna name it anything. And then you're gonna make you're gonna want to make sure it's no IP.biz. Just 
just leave everything else alone and click add hosts add hosts okay you should say your IP right here and then you're gonna copy your domain copy go back to dark comment and where it says IP slash DNS paste in your DNS and then the port should be the one you port forwarded click add and then select it and then the install message you can choose to have one module shield I like to do that uh, this is I like to use persistent process has to be used it has to has to has to otherwise you can just end it through task manager oh I forgot about this one it should be a start st it should uncheck be a unchecked you're gonna check it and then you're gonna make sure you don't check mail after first in execution don't check it because if you want to test it on yourself then you're gonna it's gonna be deleted every time okay so you're gonna have persistent installation always come back and then drop file add trib check hidden and then check system and then parent folder add trib check hidden and check system <coughs> leave everything else the same don't check this or this okay just go down to choose icon this one can be whatever you want if you're making a steam code generator as a rat you're going to choose the steam one if you're making a facebook account hacker you're going to choose this one you can get a lot more icons off the internet and just uh... to add them to your list you're going to go to the dark comment folder which you have right here and you're going to open it and then icons you're going to put it in here and then it will be added so I should open up dark comment oh, come on. Okay, never mind. So I'm just gonna do uh, the let's do the Chrome one. Stub finalization, and I'm gonna save the profile. Build the stuff. Server. Let's make it. Yes, yeah, server one. And then click enter. Okay. See, it saved the profile. So now we're gonna go to where we saved it, which is documents. See that server one and the Chrome one. Open that and see it come up with that. So I'm just gonna close out of this. And uh, well, if you want to spread it and like you want to get more by not making shows a virus, I suggest you go to hackforums.net. I mean, this isn't free, but you're gonna go to. Uh, we're gonna go to hacking, I think, and then uh, hmm. Hmm. oh, here it is: cryptography, encryption, and decryption. I'm gonna click that. Then you're gonna get a whole list of these. Some of them are free, but they're not that good. They're cryptors, and what they do are make you uh you're like if I go to meta scan like don't use this don't check it on virus total because it will just wear down the vulnerability if you have a if you have a crypto okay so we're gonna select our server that we made and let's see how many uh, viruses has been detected 34 out of 40 that's pretty bad Okay, so I don't recommend these uh, antiviruses because they're pretty bad. If you can't detect a rat, then you're probably one of the worst antiviruses. There are some free cryptos out there. So, uh, I mean, but they're not that good. If you want to get a really good crypto, then they're around $10, $15. Yeah, so these are really good ones over here. So uh, but if you want like hmm. 
but um, there's uh, one called Aegis Cryptor, which makes it, uh, it's not fully undetectable, but see, here, download, it's not really fully undetectable, just open this, don't worry, it's not a virus, choose the file you want to crypt, Up, uh, just click, do you want to do a public one? An icon. Just choose the same file so you can choose the icon of it. Add icon and then just scroll over these. Two. Then you want to click on everything except the bypass UAC. So you're just going to click on crypt now. Agree. And just name it server encrypted. So this is not that good of a cryptor. I've tried it a couple times. So scan new file now. Select file. It's on my desktop, I think. Okay, here it is. Server encrypted. Open. So it's probably around 19 right now. 19 out of 4 or so. 26. I don't know. I don't remember. Yeah, 21. I mean, that's pretty bad still. But those ones that you couldn't detect it, those are pretty bad, like seriously still. Aegis Cryptor is a free one. And you still can't detect it. But, uh, well, that's pretty much it. And I'll, uh, see you guys.